Guess what? I got my lug nuts in. Here's my new lug nuts. They're two inch lug nuts. Blue nuts. These are freaking awesome looking. There's one problem. I have spacers on the front and I don't have spacers on the back. These are the regular lug nuts for my truck, which these ones should fit. I hadn't checked the back, but I, I do believe they fit. These are for the spacers. These are bigger. Luckily, I have a, a cheap tap and die set, and uh, this one is the one that fits this, which I don't know what it is, but it's the biggest one on this side. <laughs> I don't know what sizes. <laughs> so I've already done one and it works so all I gotta do is I gotta put that on there and then re-thread it down and then take it out there and, it, and it'll fit right on there I'm about to go out there and check to make sure that these ones fit and then I'm just gonna go ahead and swap all these out real quick alright here we go I already took one off I'm just gonna make sure that this one works look at all the dirt on my rims already it rained while I was gone I'm just gonna make sure this will fit of course it does so now I can get all these done that's how it's gonna look. It's gonna stick out about that far. All the way around. So I think that's gonna look good. Let me get these done. Alright, I got the first five on and that looks I think it looks delicious. I think. I still gotta detail my truck before the show. But there we go. I got a little bit of scratch off on the on the uh, paint. I didn't get it on there thick enough. So I'm going to have to touch up the paint on my rims. Alright, let me get this finished. Alright, if you guys are wondering, I, I got this at uh, at um, Harbor Freight. That's like one of the cheapest sets they have. I forget how much it was. It was only like 15 or 20 bucks, but it's working just fine. Um, one thing I did notice on the first one is that the socket, it went down a little too far. And right on this this edge lip right here it scratched a little tiny bit it's not noticeable but I know it's noticeable so I put some electrical tape around it and that'll stop this from falling all the way down on it and scratching it and then that'll protect it but to get this started you just put this up on here and you use your wrench and you just keep going around it's gonna dig into it so you can hear it a little bit here listen And you're going to dig through the aluminum, because these are aluminum, until it catches. And then you're going to screw this all the way down. Because inside, I don't know if you guys can see this. Inside, it's a little bit bigger right where the threads are. See on the other side, see that's this is where the threads are. And if you look through from the other side, it's a little bit bigger. So you can thread all the way through that. And it's not going to mess up the inside of this here once it gets to the big side it'll just start going straight through so all right let me get these done all right had to wait till the next day and uh now i've got it washed I had to wait for it to stop raining and then i came out here and washed it <laughs> so there's my truck all pretty fied lug nuts done i even scrubbed the bed because it was starting to look nasty in here so I scrubbed the bed as best I could this will probably be one of the next things that I'll be working on besides little odds and ends stuff is I'll be looking at doing the bed I, I'm really not sure I came up with a bunch of sketches a bunch of different things I can do with it have no idea yet when I start building and cutting that's when I'll know exactly when it's going to be done so thank you for watching please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already uh, get you some lug nuts uh, all I did was I searched the make and model of my truck and put lug nuts. And that's how I found them on eBay. Ordered the ones that were okay for my truck and then ordered them. Uh, the fact that the uh, front ones were off was mainly because those are, I've got spacers in there to, to kick my tires and rims out farther. So that's the only reason those ones didn't match up. But now you guys know you can go down to Harbor Freight, pick you up a tap and die set and re-thread it yourself so uh again thank you for watching please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already give me some thumbs up for if you think you like my truck <laughs> uh, i know there's a couple out there 
you guys put the thumbs down, but that's okay. You're entitled to your to your uh, thumb down opinion and your thumb up opinions and everything. Hey, me and my wife are gonna go out. Uh, Thursday was our four year anniversary of being married. It just this seems like a lifetime because I absolutely love being with her and it's it, there's really no time frame. I mean, I thought it was five or six years. It just it's awesome. They say time flies when you're having fun. I think time slows down when you're happy and you're having fun and it just because well for me it does i want it to last forever i want every moment to just keep going so that's my thought have a good weekend everybody i'm gonna see if i can get some footage from the uh from the car show for you guys and uh that's it see y'all later 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 whatever here let's zoom in on this for the final